I like your shack. Um, yeah, um, build myself lots of... That sounds really promiscuous. That sounds really uh, provocative. Nice shack. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgraceful these days, I tell you. So, it, what's, what's ah! the shack like? <laughs> You're going to really ruin his day by doing that. It's kind of funny. I am so tempted to set a light to this shack now and kill the beast within. <laughs> That's not very nice to say about your girlfriend. <laughs> he does this on a frequent basis. He does, he does, he does. Uh, you say he's gonna set fire to me all the time. Don't worry. He did, that's just like general conversation in real life. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, that's talk to me. Like I don't. I mean, I just want you to know, Helen, that I can set fire to you anytime I like. Cause it's just be for the, it'd be for the best, you know. It did. It probably save a lot of lives in the long run. Yeah. <laughs> What are you planning on getting into, like, urban planning or something? Well, something Hitler style. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to specify too much. But <laughs> well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write. I'm doing that too. I'm gonna make. I saw a funny cartoon. It's a picture of, of Hitler next to a chair, and it said "Mein Kampf" chair. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's fun. Oh God, word hole, word hole. Oh no. Oh, oh, I'm stuck now. Bollocks. This bit of shit. Oh, I'm just going to be spazzing around under the water. Yeah, Jump to teleport. Matt doesn't understand the joy of spasming in this place, in this game. I love I... spasming. I love, like, just running around, bouncing up and down, watching a bunch of farm animals go with me. It's like a bad dream. Matthew, could you, could you, could you, you know, teleport me somewhere, anywhere, anywhere but in this world? If you reconnect again, it'll do the same oh, thing. Right. Oh, it's done, it's done. It's done. Thank you, Matthew. World holds the web, that's fine. I'm gonna make an under i I'm gonna make a submarine, I think. Um You know when you guys are old and having ch with children and stuff, I'm gonna remind you of the things that you talk about now and you're all sensible and boring and I will be because I'm gonna be, you know, the drunk alcoholic uncle that comes over and no one wants to have Christmas with. And and they'll be like, oh no, yeah. No, when I get old, no, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be like granddad granddad Daniel, and I'm going to be a really belligerent, like, patriarch who insists that Christmas is held at my house every year, so you have no choice, and you have to come over and put up with me. We're like, ah, Dad, I don't want to go to Granddad's. We know we have to go. It's just, and then he's going to be going to come over. I'm just going to swear at them. Is that Granddad hit me? Like, oh, really? Yeah. Who are you going to believe? Like a small child or your Granddad? <laughs> just going to beat your children up. Pick on them and be like, hey, you put some weight on it. You know? <laughs> He's nine Matt years old. Matt's going to be with uh, dads that's uh, a little bit scary because he, he tries to teach children to jump off things and, you know. Listen, parkour <laughs> is a viable <laughs> training for life. Walk it off. Walk it off. Parkour is viable training for life. If that, no, I agree. I think that'd be fun trying to teach our children to jump off things. Right? Like all the parents would be like, "No, no, Timmy, don't, don't jump off that. That's very naughty. No, you've got to vault it. <laughs> God, do a revolt. You know, I think that'd be fun." Oh my God! Somebody replaced the side of my castle with a world hole. Who keeps doing this? <laughs> Watch. This you is very know, inconsiderate. Do you think Notch is with the same girlfriend he had when he started, or is he like like a Playboy hacker thing now? He's probably a Playboy <laughs> hacker now. Do they exist Playboy hackers? They're what? like Hugh Hefner, they wear like, you know, <laughs> the first dressing gowns and stuff. What on earth is going on with this shack? Hang on. It looks like... <laughs> what's, the, what's the soil on the top for? Matt, I don't know why I did it, but there must be some reason, I don't know, maybe for a satellite. Matthew, did you do this? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was you, Matthew. It don't was lie. the demon. It was the demon. Don't lie. <laughs> I caught you, you red-handed. You had a block of, of, um, you were stood outside with a block <laughs> of friggin' and mud. It was like, oh, who did this, I wonder? He said. Was it perhaps Matthew? You know how hard that's going to be to get off? Soil is not easy to clean up, Matthew. Take a lot of cleaning, you know? I, you know, what are you trying to say, Matthew? Is this, what, is this my future? Is this what I'm going to be doing in the future? Cleaning it's going to keep you in a room and not let you out, put black stuff on the windows. 
will you and what we would well, guys, what are we doing as far as the epic structure is concerned? And are we actually going to be able to agree on anything? I mean, let's be honest. Okay. It's highly well, okay. likely. I mean, how I about know what, what Matthew's like? He'll just be dantic and yeah, he'll close off the server to everybody else, and then we'll all have to. Uh, he'll do a bunch of improvements. Improvements, you know, quotation marks. But and then um, he'll, he'll set fire to it as well, do. He'll, we'll make something on set free and fire to it, and then... They'll be like, oh, look what the lightning did. There's a reason oh, no. There's a reason I made my castle out of cobblestone, you know. If you destroy anything I make, Matthew... <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Visit. I might be a bit of a dick, but I'm not that mean. Really? If you do anything like that, I might come and visit you, Matthew. And <laughs> I know that is a fate worse than death. <laughs> okay, wait, so what... what whoa, well told. So, what are we building? Uh, your mum. That's Dan's mum as well, you know that. I realise that, yeah, I realise I'm, I'm playing a risky game here. <laughs> That's okay, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's just really fine, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Not big fun of my mother, don't worry. <laughs> what the hell? Fucking world hope. Damn world hope. Yeah, I know, I just made an awkward moment, didn't I? <laughs> it's very weird that when you do that, when you go drinking or sometimes people are like, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so my mum the other day, like, oh, yeah, my mum's a whore. What? what? People, why, you're like, why did they even say that? This is, really, I, I feel really uncomfortable that. My, I'm not saying my mother is a whore, she's not. <laughs> she's a lovely lady, she really is, I just don't get along with her. But you know what I mean, though, when people do that. So. It's when people, when you go out and, and you talk about your granddad and you, they say, yeah, my granddad's got cancer, and you're like... <laughs> no, no, no. They say to that, and they know it, too. They sit there and they say, oh, I've heard this person. joke about some guy with multiple sclerosis. Right, all right, all right, listen to this one. Someone's like, yeah, my mother died horribly with multiple sclerosis. And you're like, so what the fuck? It's not my fault. It's still funny. I mean, <laughs> no, it's not, but it is. It's Yeah, I know you suffered with it, but, you know, laughter's the best. Medicine, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when people do that. They do it on purpose because they want to control the conversation. Or they do something like, they just say something really deliberately awkward, like like I just said, you know, like, oh, yeah, I'm glad you're not with my mother because she died in a car crash. Can we not talk about our parents, please? Oh, you know, oh, can we not talk about life? Because, you know, I, I just don't very good at it. And then you just can't kind of to say without. Talk about life. That's, that's insensitive. <laughs> So, i got a joke for you. An infinite number of mathematicians walk into a bar. And uh, the first one orders one pint, the second one orders half a pint, the third one orders a quarter of a pint, and the barman says, you're all idiots, and pours them two pints. That's and not a joke. That, you're smart. Because it's an ultimate amount of... Okay, it's the Greek paradox, it's if you, you can keep dividing... That was not a joke! It is a... What?! You can't comment on the joke by saying it's not a joke. It's yeah, a geek joke, is what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, it's something designed to make me feel better than you people. <laughs> what? Wait, 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 wait. What are you trying to say? I'm what saying you white and you disgust me. You You're white! Like I'm Hindu. What? I love when people say, yeah, you people. I'm like, yeah, I'm making a racial comment. What's so hard about this? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I love that term, you people, has been completely demonized these days, it's so funny. <laughs> you people, what are you calling me, a human? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. What are you saying? Hey, no, I'm human now, is that it? Bastard. You don't know what we've been through. Mm. Humans, we've suffered. I mean, look at the, the dinosaurs alone, according to the creationists, we went through all that. Crazy bastard. Fucking creationists. <laughs> Doing everything for everyone. I love your strong opinion, I, mean, I really hope the rapture comes again. Uh, you know, again. Because then I can have my fucking planet back. You have no idea how hard it is to live in this country and not want to have to put up with that kind of crap. 